All right, today we're going to work on our triple digit addition using the strategy of expanded form. And I want to start us off with an example that does not require regrouping. So let's go ahead and begin. So the first one I'm going to do is 247 plus 331. Okay. And so when I'm talking about expanded form, I need to make the expanded form of both my 247 and my 331. So I'm going to start off by giving my expanded form of 247. So I'm going to say 200, because there are two hundreds, plus 40, because there are four tens, plus 7, because there are seven ones. And I see that this is an addition problem. So I'm going to add my addition sign down here. And now I'm going to put the expanded form of my 331. So I'm going to put 300, because there are three hundreds, three tens, because for 30, and then one for one one. And now I have all of my place value lined up that I can now add starting in the ones place. So seven plus one is equal to eight. 40 plus 30 is equal to 70. And 200 plus 300 is equal to 500. So now I have the expanded form version of my final answer. So now when I add up 500 plus 70 plus eight, I know that equals 578, okay? So my final answer is 578. So now if I were to do another one, let me erase my page here. Okay, when I do another one, Let's say I'm doing 436 plus 253, okay? So I'm gonna do my expanded form again, but I'm gonna do expanded form of now the number 436. So 436 has four hundreds, three tens, and six ones. I see again it's an addition problem. And now I'm going to add two hundreds, five tens, and three ones. I have my equal sign line, and now I can add starting in my ones place. So six plus three is equal to nine. 30 plus 50 is equal to 80 and 400 plus 200 is equal to 600. So now again I have an expanded form version of my final answer. So my final answer is 600 plus 80 plus 9 and I know that equals 689. 